Welcome students. So in our previous class, we have uh, continued the chapter nine, that was agriculture and industry. Okay. So we have completed it. Okay. So in this class, we are going to discuss the uh, exercises of this chapter. Okay. So uh, let's uh, let us discuss the exercises of this uh, topic. So, what is the name of the topic? Agriculture and industry. Okay. <laughs> so, first, uh, in the first bit, uh, a multiple choice questions. Okay. So, there are uh, four uh, multiple uh, answers. We have to uh, choose the right one. Okay. The uh, the first question. The rabi crops are grown during dash, during winter, summer, autumn, or monsoon. Okay, so uh, the answer will be winter. Okay, the rabi crops are grown during winters. Then, which of the following is a rabi crop? We know the two uh, growing seasons, the two main growing seasons that is uh, rabi in winter. And curry in summer. Okay. So which of the following uh, is a rabi crop? Okay. Wheat, gram, sugar cane, all of these. So the answer would be all of these. Okay. Because uh, wheat also a crop, uh, rabi crop, gram is also, then sugar cane. Okay. So all the three, wheat, gram, and sugar cane, these uh, three cro crops are the rabi crops then another question that is three which of the following is not a rabi crop okay so wheat is a rabi crop then another option that is bear barley is also a rabi crop then mustard also is also a crop a rabi crop okay but rice is not a rabi crop so actually the, the the answer will be rice a rice okay uh, then next question which of the following which of the following uh, is, uh, is a main producer of spices in india okay so there are options like haryana punjab kerala then jharkhand so the answer will be kerala okay so in kerala so kerala is the is a main producer of spices in india okay then next question Fruit production on a large scale uh, is known as the dash. Okay, fruit production. Okay, it is related to horticulture. Okay, so there are four options: pisciculture, sericulture, agriculture, horticulture. So the uh, answer will be horticulture. Okay, so fruit production on a large scale is known as the horticulture. Then uh, number six. Okay, which of the following? Pairs is wrong. So there are two columns. Okay, types of industries, and in the one column and in the other there is products. Okay, types of industries and products. So cottage industry, small scale industry, large scale industry, none of these. Okay, then uh, in the uh, other column, hand blown clothes, utensils, iron skins. Okay, so let us see. Cottage industry, handloom cloths, it is right. Okay, then small scale industry, utensils, it is also right. Uh, right. Okay, large scale industry, iron and steel, it is also right because we have already known about it. Okay, so the answer will be none of the because there is no wrong pair of uh, lines. Okay. Okay, then bit B. Okay, very short answer type questions. Okay, which country is the largest producer of sugarcane in the world? Which country is the largest producer of sugarcane in the world? It is Brazil. Okay, and the second one is our country, India. Okay, so uh, so India is the second largest country uh, which produce uh, sugarcane. Okay. Then, 
what is rabi crop we know what is rabi crop the crops which are sown in winter from october to december are called rabi crop okay so the rabi crops are sown in winter from the month october to december then name any five khari crops okay name any five khari crops uh, the crops like uh, rice millets maize jute cotton these are the names of five crops which are uh, which are crop in in the season in the kharif season there are two main growing season okay one is kharif and rabi in a year so these are the kharif crops what is an industry so what is an industry we know what is an industry We know that industry is a center or place where we manufacture products. Okay, after uh, we uh, manufacture products from raw materials after processing the uh, raw materials. Okay, so it is a place or center where we manufacture uh, products. Okay, after processing the raw materials, then. Name the crop products exported by exported by India. Okay, so what are the crop products exported from India? Okay, so mainly the crop products like uh, tea. Okay, tea, sugar cane, then. Another one that is rice, ground nut. Okay, rice, ground nut. Okay, then cotton. Okay, so these are the crops that are exported by India. Then next question. Define the term cottage industry. So, what do you, what do we mean by cottage industry? Okay. So, what is cottage cottage industry? What is cottage industry? Okay. So, uh, we also know about cottage industry. What is cottage industry? Because uh, we have mainly. Three types of industry like cottage industry, small scale industry, and large scale industry. So when a few people work and make things at home with simple tools and produce goods like handloom cloth, shoes, shawls, blankets, and toys, it is called a cottage industry. Okay. So the answer will be a few people work together at home. Uh, at home. With simple tools and produce goods like handloom cloth. Okay, so uh, these are the products: handloom cloth, then shoes, shawls. Okay, then blankets, blankets. Okay, so these are the products that are produced in the cottage industry. So it is a very small industry where three people work and they use simple tools. Okay, for making these products like handloom cloth, shoes, shawls, and blankets. Okay. Okay. Next, that is C. Okay, so it is a short answer type question. We have to find out the answer. How has science improved agriculture in 
India. Okay, how has science improved agriculture in India? Because in our earlier times there was no provision, there was no provision for uh, a good type of seeds. Okay, that is uh, that is high yielding varieties of seeds. Okay, so uh, uh, before the independence there was. Uh, for no availability of all those things like uh, the varieties of seeds, okay, which are high yielding or high producing varieties of seeds, and there was no fertilizers, okay, there was no provision for irrigation of water, okay. So uh, we also know the after the green revolution, uh, it has greatly changed in the production of our agricultural uh, products okay so we know that uh, the increase in food production due to increase in the use of fertilizers and machines in agriculture is known as green revolution so due to the uh, this green revolution uh, our country has successfully improved in the field of Production, okay, in the field in the field of agricultural products, okay. So how science has improved agriculture in India, okay. So science basically related to the different types of inventions, okay, the, the different types of chemical fertilizers, okay. So the science helps to. Uh, Invent okay the varieties of uh, chemicals okay like fertilizers and new methodology technology for farming okay then irrigation okay so all these happen due to the development of science so science uh, contribute a lot in the field of agriculture to improve agriculture in India. Okay, then mention the measures taken by the government to improve the condition of agriculture in India. So, what are the measures or what are the initiatives or steps taken by the government to improve the condition of agriculture in India? So, let us uh, see. So, the provisions uh, like crop insurance. Okay. So the provisions like crop insurance against drought, flood, cyclone, fire and disease. Okay. Establishment of granite banks. Okay. Then cooperative societies and banks for providing uh, loan facility to the farmers at a lower rate of interest. Okay. So the, these banks, uh, there was provision, uh, uh, provision that the banks were providing the loan facility to the farmers at a lower rate of interest. Okay, so these are the uh, steps or these are the measures that were taken by the uh, government to improve the agriculture in our country. Okay, so it was during 1980s and 1990s. 1980s and 1980s. Since when we uh, we have uh, the government of India has taken different measures to improve the agriculture in our country. Then next question. Then, okay. Give a short note on the uh, aeroplane manufacturing of India. Okay, so let us see. Aeroplane manufacturing. Okay, aeroplanes are made. Uh, aeroplanes are made in government-owned factories in Bengaluru, Lucknow, Nashik, Hyderabad, and Korapu. Okay. Okay. So these are the cities, uh, places where the manufacture of aeroplane factories are there. Bengaluru, then Lucknow, 
then Nasi, then Hyderabad, then Karakur. So uh, the aeroplanes are made in government owned factories. So there is no uh, private factories. Okay. So it is government owned. Means it is under the uh, author authority of Indian government. Okay. So aeroplanes are made in government owned factories in Bengaluru. Okay. So these factories are in Bengaluru, Lucknow, Nasi, Hyderabad, and Karakur. Okay. Then write down the uh, name of two states where the following meals are found. Uh, okay, so jute mill, West Bengal, Uttar Pradesh. Okay, then ship building, uh, Bishakapatnam, which is uh, Andhra Pradesh. Okay, Andhra Pradesh. Then uh, another one that is. Jute means in West Bengal and that is Uttar Pradesh. These are the two states where the jute means are located. Okay. So uh, the remaining part of this question is uh, you will discuss uh, reading this chapter. Okay, so with this we end uh, this topic. Thank you.